ng filingera po ulit. So ngayon guys, hindi muna ako magla-live kasi ang pangit ng internet connection ko. Pero mayroon pa rin na akong guest. So introduce ko sa inyo yung aking guest. Siya ay isang estudyante at nag-aaral sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Diliman, Quezon City. Please welcome Mr. Alan Matute. Yeah. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Guys, dinest ko siya kasi regarding sa current events na alam ko naman lahat ay aware, yung about kay Tulfo na Tulfo in action na may nagsumbong sa kanya or nagreklamo regarding doon sa teacher ng kanyang anak. So, ngayon hihingian ko lang siya ng opinion kung ano bang masasabi niya doon. So, bilang sudyante, anong reaction mo or anong maikokomento mo or anong opinion mo doon sa event na yun? Okay. Uh, ako bilang isang sudyante, uh, nakita ko yung, yung program ni Tulfo as parang na, nag-overstep na si Tulfo to judge the teacher kasi we have to we have not to judge uh, dun lang ng dun sa sudyante but to see to it that meron din due process yung teacher regarding dun sa concern mm -hmm. so ang mali lang din kasi dun ni Tulfo is supposedly dapat he was not ah, parang hindi dapat siya nag-judge based lang dahil sa nanakit yung, yung teacher or there was an emotional uh, effect doon sa sudyante. But also, uh, hindi naman pwedeng sabihin na kailangan tanggal lang siya ng lisensya. Agad-agad. Agad-agad. Kasi there should be a due process of law in everything, especially this kind of cases. So, uh, I think Tulfo is not a lawyer and has na he has no ability. I mean, di naman sa na ano ko na understand it kasi tulfo. But mm -hmm. I think this kind of case should not be. I don't know. Hindi lang it's not the proper forum. It's, I think the the program is that itself is not the proper forum to discuss, discuss sensitive yes. issues like this. Mm -hmm. Kailangan uh, it should be discussed in uh, I think if if the yung sa side ng mga and a second teacher, they should uh, resolve it if yung mag Privately. And then, kung gusto niya mag-file ng case, I think sa court, not in the TULFO, mm -hmm. because TULFO is a program in the, the court of law. Mm -hmm. Kumbaga, hindi yun yung right yeah, na dapat yung right. pinuntahan. Yes, yes. I think, um, yung, eh, TULFO, as a program, mm -hmm. uh, he, he has the, kumbaga, well, Sabi nga nila, um, mediator siya. Mm -mm, yes, but, mediator. Siguro, I think, yung mga, ano lang, yung mga, mga list or mga mabababang case lang. Mm -hmm. I mean, kung nag-away siya yung kapagbahay, nag-away siya yung magkaibigan, uh, mga petty case mm -hmm. lang. He can resolve that. Yes. But when it involves primary or um, sensitive case. I think it is not the right. Um, uh, I think it's not the right way. Mm -hmm. Para pag usapan yan, especially in televised and in public. Yes. It should be I think, worldwide. Na yes, I think uh, it should be private mm -hmm. forum. Yes. Pero napanod mo ba yung kanyang kasi nag-apologize na rin siya. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And binigay niya rin yung side niya. Mm -hmm. Oo, kasi nga, kumbaga yung side niya is ikaw bilang magulang, kumbaga kapag ginanin yung anak mo, mm -hmm. hindi ka papayag. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kasi naman ako, no? Yes, but yes. But let us see to it that what kind of uh, punishment ba? If, um, sabi nga sa, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but mm -hmm. um, when I heard um uh, Sa mga, You're not a lawyer. I'm a yet. lawyer, but yet, yeah, but <laughs> may mga narinig ako, of course, sa mga lawyers din. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, corporal punishment 
well, it's, it's government case. Corporal punishment, punishment means means if you inflict uh, injury to the person. Mm -hmm. So why we have the RA seven six ten? Ano yung RA yun nga? Ah, yeah. Discuss mo sa amin kung well, ano yung RA seven uh, six ten na laging sinasabi. Yeah, it's, I think it's uh, it's about the the abusive against the abuse of uh, RA seventy six ten of the women and children. Uh, mm. So, okay. if we have this kind of law, there should have parameters. Mm -hmm. So, nakapulap ito na doon is corporal punishment, definitely mm -hmm. injuries. We have, the, the, the party has the right to file a case because we have that kind of law. Mm -hmm. And, sasabi nga nila, wala naman to, ito to, if, mm -hmm. sabi kasi ni Tulfo, Although there is no injury, but the psychologically, psychologically, psychologically effect. Yeah. Okay. But I think, um, yung kabataan natin, I think it's the right to discipline a like, student. Mm -mm. Iba na kasi, dun, dito natin makikita na iba na yung uh, panahon, yung generation nila ngayon sa generation natin noon. Yes. Kasi nga, noon naranasan natin na Matuhin tayo ng chok, mm. mapadalda lang tayo ng konti sa katabi, yes. o kaya eraser. Ngayon, pag ginawa mo yun, tulpo yeah. ang pupunta. Yeah, kaya nga ano, I think um, kailangan din, well, in the, in, the, in the side of government, no? I think uh, it is the right time to regulate. I mean, in, in sa kay tulpo kasi, I think they should reassess mm -hmm. and evaluate. Pero yung mga dapat na case, concerns nila yung waka nila. You should not uh, just give uh, eh, to kailangan mo tanggalan ng lisensya. Mm -hmm. Kailangan mo kung ka. Mm -hmm. There is no joke process in that, yes. in that yes. uh, setting. Eh. Um, Tulfo is that a lawyer. Yes. yes. And Tulfo in action is that a court to judge. Mm -hmm. So, siguro, well, yung, kap yung kapata, I mean, yung I think it's it's a form of disciplinary action. Yes. No, na pagsabihan ka ng teacher mo or palabasin ka, Kasi pagsulatin ka ng... Yung teacher natin or yung school is, ano eh, pangalawang yeah. bahay natin yan. Yeah. Eh. Uh, if the home, I think, ang ating ang, ang bahay natin, no, doon yung pamilya natin, mm -hmm. And doon nagsisimula, nag-grow yung values yes. no? uh, ng isang bata. And I think that's the, the school is a second home. And the teacher should also be the second, second parent, or parent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of, the, of the student. No? I think they should have also a uh, right, I mean, right, I mean, right way of discipline. Discipline and action <laughs> that dapat uh, go in sa bata, no? Um, as, di man, although I'm not a parent, but syempre sa side ng parents, no? Mm -hmm. Ayaw natin masaktan yung mga anak natin, di ba? Yes. So, kailangan, hindi nahinay din yung teachers, no? Syempre, mahirap naman kung nasaktan mo yung bata and tapos makita mo na lang, may sugat lang. Yes, yes. I, yun ay uh, iba usapan. We have the law yes. to explain that. So, yun. At least ngayon, okay na yung both sides. Mm -hmm. No parents sa kayong teacher. And sabi nga ni Tulfo, walang nangyaring demandahan mm -hmm. or no, hindi nawalan ng lisensya si, yeah. eh, si teacher. So, sa, sa akin naman, no? um, tama naman din yung ginawa ni Tulfo na he accept his... Uh, Mali. Yeah, mali. Mm -hmm. And yeah, accept din naman na mali yung judgment niya. Mm -hmm. And prejudice kasi, makukulong ka, makawala ka ng lisensya. Mm -hmm. Yung maga agad-agad. Agad-agad, mm -hmm. no? Without knowing na meron tayong due process mm -hmm. of law, meron tayong matagas. No? Mm -hmm. Then, let's leave it to the court. No? If, they have, if they want to find a case, they find it. No? So government naman, 
may sinasabi ni Tulip Pinar, well, the type I should have the parameters, the policies on how to handle students, especially sa mga teachers. No? I think it's, it's, it's a eye-opener for uh, the type I don't know. Ano ba yung dapat na para hindi ma, siguro, siyempre, yung mga, yung mga teachers natin, ano ba yung dapat na gawin, ano yung dapat na pag-discipline sa estudyante. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think the government should regulate it mm-hmm. and oversee it. No, but at least in the next um, susunod, next time, susunod na mangyari ito, um, hindi naman tahantong sa ganito. ganito. It's, oh. it's a nationwide issue. And, yes. and, Actually, maliit lang siya eh. Yeah. I mean, hindi naman totally maliit talaga kasi kung parents ka talaga, mm-hmm. mafe-feel mo din talaga na ganun yung uh, bugso ng damdamin mo, ganun yeah. yung iisipin mo na hindi mo iniisip yung kapakanan din ng kabilang side na alam natin na way lang yun ang pagdidisiplin niya. Mm-hmm. So, I think uh, it's a free country. Yes. But I, sabi ko nga, there's no absolute mm-hmm. democracy. But sabi nga, if if the people wants to voice it, ganoon na kasi yung social media mm-hmm. ngayon. Yes, uh, that's so, the effect of social media. Media, no? pag sinabing ganito, ito pa natin. Mm-hmm. But that, that's too bad. Let's have yes, to, yes. I think... Uh, see you know, the other side, the other side, let's balance the situation so that we can come up with the prop, right and a proper judgment. Yes. Not only to the teacher, but also to the parents of the child. Because the child is now being bashed, if it's on the other side, it's So, that's it. So, guys, so, yun nga. so nagkaayos na guys, lahat, parents, and the teachers, so stop bashing. na. Masyado nang pinapalaki pa. Yeah, so, yeah. yun. Tama na yung... Uh, Tama na. Tama. Side comments. Yes, yes. So guys, ayan, salamat sa ating guest ngayon. At Thank medyo... You. It's a pleasure. Oh, yes, seryoso kami. Seryosong usapan. Yun, muna yeah. ngayon. Yeah. So yun. Thank you guys. And eto guys ha, opinion lang namin to. Yes, yeah, opinion. Mm-hmm. You can voice out our yes, comments, yes. reactions. Opinion lang. Walang opinion. violent reaction yeah. po ha. Yeah. Ayun. So guys, thank you for watching and sana na nakakuha rin kayo ng, ng konting, aral. konting aral sa amin. Ayun. Okay guys, thank you again and please subscribe to my channel, Anne Filingera. Thank you guys. Bye!